Hiya fishy folks and happy Sunday fun day to you. Today's video, pond update. Why? Because we had Noah's Ark like rain yesterday. Right now it's Saturday morning. It's 6, sorry, 7.06 in the morning. Uh, I'm pretty excited. I'm going to go meet my boy Scott today and uh, another fella named Mike who I'm going to buy some plecos off of who's also transporting more plecos from another breeder down in Maryland. So. It's gonna be a good day, but yesterday, Friday, we had rain from about 2 a.m. until about 6, and uh, the rain was torrential at times. I had to drain my ponds, some of my ponds, well, the, the blow-up pond twice. I had to drain water out of it because I thought it was gonna overflow. And I did have one of the 110 Tough Stuff ponds um, come within seconds of overflowing before I came out, standing out here in the rain, with the drain hose, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. So why don't you guys grab yourself a healthy snack and beverage and stand by. All right, fishy folks, here is the inflatable pool. Um, I drained the water twice below. So see where the white and the blue meet right there. Uh, I drained it twice so that the blue, uh, if you can look over here, you see how, I mean, cattywampus it is, but you see how there's white and then blue and then there's that seam. I drained it twice to that seam and that's where it's back, so. Well, fishy folks, it's been raining like Noah's Ark here in South Jersey since about 2 a.m. It is now almost 12 in the afternoon and uh, I came out or I looked at the pond through the window and the water was in between the white and the uh, blue. And so I'm draining some water out of the bottom drains. You can see there and there. And uh, I'm gonna drain a little bit more and hopefully we don't have a problem because it's supposed to rain until tomorrow. The other ponds are pretty full as well. We're not supposed to get rain. It's supposed to be hot as balls the next couple days. So I'm not gonna drain it. I hope evaporation will take place. But let me give you an example of how much rain we had. <clears throat> Here's a new, Whole new video, it's gonna be a surprise, surprise. A new 100 gallon Rubbermaid tote. And uh, I put it out here Friday, no, Thursday night. And uh, that's how much water we got. So I don't know, what's that? Three, four inches of water in the bottom. And that's, that's it. So I gotta empty this out because I don't want rain water in there in case, you know, an alien gets in there. But um, whole new video about this. So act surprised when I, do that video. Uh, anyway, I don't think we lost any any guppies out of here. If you remember, this this pond has drain holes in the bottom, and that's what I did. I opened up both drain holes. You can kind of see the water trail. Um, it is humid. It, it, it's got to be 162% humidity out here. Us fat guys don't like the humidity. It's messing with my hair. It's terrible. Um, but I, the pond is doing well. There's you know, a gajillion guppies in there. They look awesome. The genetics are from many different places. I had a lot of people send me mutts. I put them all in here to get all kinds of different genetics. Uh, one of the ones I sent was a magenta guppy with black Dumbo ear pecs. It, uh, it, was, it was amazing. It was gorgeous. And I know who sent it to me and I thank you. All right, let's go look at the other pond. So we go over here. Uh, this is the pond with the blue diamonds in it that I got from Phil at Tamed Waters. This is the pond that actually was just about overflowing. That water was barely trickling out of the top. So I came out here with my drain hose and I stood and, and, and let it drain. I guess I got to drain some water. Looks like it's just about ready to come out if it hasn't already. I don't think I caught any guppies. I hope not. I looked on the ground. I looked in the drain, but... Um, yeah, so there's a couple of things you can do. And in, in my smaller totes, I have holes drilled. Let me see if I can show you any of them. Yeah, so you can see right here, I have a hole drilled. And I have them drilled all around at a certain height. And then as water raises, it can trickle out. And it, they're really too small for guppies to... Uh, to come out but i didn't drill any holes in these yet because you know i just didn't even think um and to be honest i don't have drain holes in those or these 
I always kept the water low enough where it wouldn't matter, but on, on this one I must have filled up too much. And I don't know if you remember this one, but this one was at least four inches lower. Um, man, look how great the plants are doing. My boy Keith from KGE hooked me up. And uh, he said, I'm going to send you plants that I can't sell. They'll, they'll bounce back. And two weeks later, they have bounced back spectacularly. Also, the duckweed has taken over, which is a good thing. Um, I like duckweed in the, in the, in the ponds for a couple, two reasons. One, um, it creates shade. And two, and most important, it's a natural filter. It will suck up the nitrate like you wouldn't believe. And that's how you know that your ponds are healthy or your tanks are healthy. If you can, if duckweed is manufacturing itself, it's good stuff. Anyway, that's enough about that. Um, the other ponds are doing well. Let's take a look over here. Look at these, look at these guys. Let me, let me. So look at these water hyacinths. Now here's why you want the water hyacinths. Lots of duckweed. You got these little plants that Keith sent me. I don't, I don't know what they are, but they're great. Um, so look at the water hyacinth, right? You see these, these hanging down roots? As they get bigger and deeper, that's where the guppy fry hide and, and chill out. So, yeah, like those are getting nice. Obviously, they get they get much by the end of the season. They'll be much longer, but you know, they've only been in here about a month. So this is a mutt pond. I have four mutt ponds. Um, well, three mutt ponds, two mutt ponds, and a mutt massive mutt system, which is this eh, about 150 gallon system. Um, these are, if you don't remember, these are the 60 gallon Laguna totes and the 27 gallon Home Depot sump that I built. Um, and I. This was the first thing I made last year and I really like it. It's a very simple waterfall system. Uh, the 60 gallon Laguna, Laguna tote then drains into that tote, then drains into the 27 gallon uh, Home Depot tote. And then a Eco 396 pump, which is my favorite pump. I'll put a link down below for Amazon. It is an affiliate link, but is a great water pump for the hobbyist. You can use it to, to change water in tanks. My, I just talked my buddy Joel into getting one so he can use that to change water. You can use it to move water, you can use it to fill, empty tanks, whatever. But anyway, then the water comes up through this little pipe and into here. Now I don't have any air stones in here. This is just simply naturally natural filtration and the water movement is what breaks the surface tension uh, of the water and creates oxygen added oxygen if needed, like if it gets hot. So, I mean, look at these water hyacinths. My goal, um, that's pretty cool when you do that. Anyway, my goal is to have it covered with, with the floating plants. That'll give enough shade and hiding spots for the guppy fry to easily survive. Some of you may say, Mike, what's, what, what's that water over there? That's gross. Yes, but if a dragonfly is gonna come, I wanna give them easy access to water to drop their nymphs, not put them in my tubs if somehow they can get in. Um, I do need to work on these, this lid and that net top. Uh, I didn't put anything on the, like on this side I don't have any weight and on that side I don't have any weight for the far tub. So sometimes the, uh, the net doesn't sit properly. So I gotta, I gotta fix that. I did buy materials which are right there and yeah, that's messy. There's the garden, it's the wife's, anyway. Um, what else? Oh, how do you avoid the overflow, like I said, I have holes in here. I'm gonna drill some holes in these two tubs and probably these two tubs. I do have to drain some water out of that when I get around to it um, because that was really close to overflowing as well. Um, obviously, I can't drain water out of the inflatable guppy pond because, uh, or I can't drill holes because, uh, duh, it's inflatable. Um, but what I think I'm gonna do is drain water down beneath that that um, seam and then try to put air in the top ring again. Not sure I want to do that because if that doesn't work, it's going to deflate pretty quickly because of the weight of the water. So if I do that, you're going to have to wish me luck. I may or may not film that because that may or may not be a disaster. Um, all right, you guys want to see some underwater footage of guppies? I think you do. So I'm going to go grab the, uh, the GoPro. Yes, I use a GoPro. Hero 5 Black Edition uh, for my underwater footage. And it's all in 4K as well. So anyway, I want to go grab the underwater stuff. 
you guys can take a peek. Uh, do me a favor, check out my website, michaelsfishroom.com. A lot of new things coming to the website soon, so check back off, and there will be more plecos and my import order guppies. They're done with quarantine now, so I'll be getting them up hopefully in the next day or two so you guys can order them and they can ship. Uh, all right, enjoy the underwater footage, guys. Mm -hmm.